Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're driving into Boscobel and we are going to talk about the runway expansion of the Ian Fleming International Airport. Now, to expand this runway, the runway currently is 4,769 feet. Way too small to land a large commercial plane. It needs to go to a minimum of 6,000 feet to land some commercial planes and 8,000 feet to be able to land the bigger planes like a 737. So I'm not sure exactly what length they are going to make the runway but one thing is for certain to expand the runway it has to go across this road. This is a northern coastal highway that takes you from St. Mary into Ocho Rios. Now, I guess it's the Civil Aviation Authority has acquired the land to the left of where the runway is. And they now have to take the runway across the road, the main road. So today we're going to talk about how they plan to do that. And I guess we should start with the contractor. I haven't heard which contractor they're using, but I really, well, I doubt it could be a local contractor. So if anybody knows what contractor has been hired to do this job, let us know, leave a comment in the section below. Now, they haven't done anything to the road yet. But when you look at the diagram, the runway is going to go right across the road, through the open lot, they have cleared the open lot on the other side of the road, and into the sea. And a massive seawall will be built at the edge of the runway to protect it from hurricanes. So, guys, what are they going to do with this road? Now, we are, some people recommended that they should build the road underneath the runway. Like a tunnel that goes underneath the runway, which would be a great idea. Very expensive, but... That would definitely work. But I'm not sure what the plans are. There's a road that you can take before you get to the runway. Like you would veer off the highway. Because I haven't heard any plans of building a tunnel with a road underneath it. So I'm assuming that you're going to have to exit off the main road, turn left, and go up through a community and come out at the other end I mean I have not heard anything about a tunnel being built and a road going under the runway now that would be ideal but even if they were to do that that would take at the rate things move in Jamaica about a year because you'd have to build a runway and then at the same time you'd have to dig no you'd have to build a tunnel first and then run the road underneath the tunnel and then the runway would go across or over the tunnel but I haven't heard any officially I haven't heard any such plans actually we haven't heard anything about what's going to happen all we've heard is that the runway is going across the road now I do know that there is a side road, we're going to drive on it the next time we come in this area and show you it goes through a community and you know the community roads are terrible and it goes, so I'm just assuming that that's what they, well, that was, that's what they plan to do. So guys, let us know what you think or if anybody has, ha has any additional information on what they plan to do with the road. They just said the highway is going, the roadway is going across the road. But one thing is for sure, this runway needs to be extended. Without a doubt, 
whatever the cost they need to build a proper runway for this airport the Ian Fleming International Airport it's needed and I, I I'm going to say I think within a year of that runway opening you're going to see a completely different airport you're going to see an airport busier than Norman Manley International Airport because that's all this airport needs. Ocherios is a major tourist town. All this airport needs is a proper runway. I mean, as it is now, you don't even have a thousand people a week using this airport. I would love to know how much the government spends to maintain and to ha staff this airport. Because I'm sure you can have a runway without certain security measures in place. Because anybody could just come and land on it if the airport wasn't secure. I'm sure they are losing money left, right and center with this airport. Because the few passengers that come in cannot cover the cost of this airport. But all that is going to change. We're good. I believe this will be the second busiest airport in Jamaica within one year of this air, this runway opening. So guys, let us know what you think. Do you think they should go build a tunnel and put the road underneath the runway? I, I only see two options. One, doing it that way, put letting the road go underneath the runway which sounds very expensive or two letting the traffic use the an alternate route when it gets to this point and go through the community up in the hill and come back out on the main road at a point after the airport I mean that's the cheaper way it's inconvenient but it's a cheaper way so we will try and find out more information as to what they plan to do or what they plan to do with the traffic it's for sure the diagram shows it well, we can't show the diagram because of these copyright things but the runway goes straight across the road all right guys we'll definitely keep you guys updated on this project all right guys have a good day